Here's something you probably didn't know. Skidoo claims to be the world's number one seller of four-stroke snowmobiles. And this is with only two four-stroke engines, the 1200 Fortech and the 600 Ace. On this week's test ride, we're going to unveil Skidoo's third four-stroke engine, the all-new triple-cylinder 900cc advanced combustion engine. And it is the world's first snowmobile engine with electronic throttle control. Make no mistake about this, Skidoo is deadly serious about not only being the number one selling snowmobile in the world, they're just as rapidly enthusiastic about being number one in every segment of the market, including high performance, crossover, utility, mountain, and four-stroke. At this writing, they have achieved number one status in virtually every segment of the industry. However, they feel there's more depth to the four-stroke market, and to this end, they've attacked the previously uncharted 90 horsepower segment. As far as we're concerned here at Snow Tracks, we think the 90 horsepower segment is the domain of the 500cc two-stroke. Skidoo thinks there's still business to be had at the 90 horsepower level, and that they can convince buyers to buy a 90 horsepower four-stroke instead of a 90 horsepower two-stroke. Are they right? Well, we're gonna find out in model year 2014. There's more going on here than just an assault on a new segment. There's Skidoo's incredible utility market domination. Skidoo literally produces more utility snowmobiles than the other three OEMs combined. This motor will find its way into the utility market, which Skidoo has already flooded with the new four-stroke 600 ACE. Two more areas Skidoo is after with the new 900 ACE triple are the rental market and the entry-level market. And that's where this story gets interesting. The 900 Ace includes a drive-by-wire throttle with three separate modes controlling how the engine responds to your throttle inputs. This is techie stuff from the auto industry and opens the door on exceptional user control. The drive-by-wire throttle also includes what Skidoo calls the learning key. You better pay attention here because this gets confusing. The drive-by-wire throttle offers three response modes at the touch of a dash-mounted toggle. There's Eco mode for outstanding fuel economy and less than pulse pounding acceleration and throttle response. There's Standard mode for a generally linear but somewhat filtered feel at the flipper. Then there's our favorite, Sport mode, which raises idle by 200 RPM and delivers response that's cleaner than any previous Skidoo four-stroke. If you can read between the lines, we're saying this mode eliminates throttle lag. Finally, the 900 Ace comes with two separate DESS tether keys. One provides for normal operation, the other can be set to limit top speed to as little as 25 miles per hour. Rental operators and parents are going to do backflips for this feature. When it gets down to it, you really want to know how the 900 feels on trails, the way you ride. Here goes. Power here is eerily quiet, quieter than any snowmobile in production today. In fact, the engine's exhaust note disappears at about 25 miles per hour and is replaced with the sound of the rotating track and a subtle whoosh in your helmet. Power from the 90 horsepower EFI triple is impressive. We identified a fairly substantial lump of torque at about 4,000 RPM, which surges the 900 Ace ahead with authority. Top speed on hard pack lakes was regularly between 85 and 88 miles per hour. Fuel economy was E-Tech good at trail speeds, not so much at WOT. Here's the question we keep getting about the 900 Ace. Will a 600 E-Tech type get a buzz from this 900 four-stroke? Here's our answer after logging substantial miles. On twisty trails, a 600 E-Tech will not run away from this 900 four-stroke. However, when things open up, the E-Tech's 30 extra ponies will not be denied. Does this mean the 900 Ace has to find its own market with recreational riders? We think so. The 90 horsepower two-stroke segment has mostly gone away with only Arctic Cat playing there. The big question is whether the 900 Ace can make it with recreational snowmobilers. The versatility of this new engine has allowed Skidoo to slide it into XS MXZs and Renegades, XR Grand Tourings, and XU Utility Skin in its first year. We suspect Skidoo knows something about their utility and rental business we don't, and the 900 is going to ring a bell with these markets in a substantial way. 
There's a lot going on with the new 900 Ace, and we're here to tell you the engine is a success from a performance standpoint. What we're going to have to let you, the snowmobile consumer, decide is whether you attach value to the most sophisticated engine and operator control system the industry has ever seen.